Hey everybody, I'm here to review the experience of drinking a red potion while playing the video game The Legend of Zelda for the Nintendo Entertainment System. The red potion may be a drink that you haven't heard of before, but this one comes from the Drunken Moogle. Com. The Drunken Moogle provided this recipe as what they call the Legend of Zelda cocktail. Now, I can only imagine that this is basically going to be like my childhood dream of tasting the delicious beverage that revives you in the Legend of Zelda. But with the ingredients, I'm not quite certain that's going to be the case. Uh, this one has... Cranberry juice, rum, and tequila. And those three things I've never really had in a combination before. Uh, I've had cranberry mixed drinks, but rum and tequila aren't usually paired with that. As you can tell, it's a dark, dark red, and that's partially to, due to the dark rum that's in it. Let's see. Is this going to revive me? Is this going to keep me going? Or is it going to make me spit it out and quit playing one of my favorite games of all time? We'll see. Oh, that beautiful music to start this wonderful game. 1986. I would have been four years old when this came out. And never would I have dreamed that I would be sitting here about to drink the Red Potion that I collected in this game. Let's listen to the theme. Now here's the story. Ganon, Triforce, Zelda, Triforce, Ganon. Save her. Link, save her. But don't forget to bring your red potion. Ooh! Ah, but here it's known as the second potion. It didn't even get a name. They couldn't even call it what it is, unlike the red ring and the red candle there it is so those things get to be red the potion just gets to be the second potion my first taste was a little odd i didn't quite know what to expect and i still don't with each sip with the legend of zelda though if i happen to get confused or lost i can just look up in the manual for details thank you link I don't think I have this manual anymore. Well, anyway, let's start. Oh, well, I guess everyone has a copy of some type of a RPG with those names. Let's go with the first one. All right, starting off with Link in his village. This is uh, the desolate village of the first game, though, not the uh, thriving villages that you awaken in future Zelda titles. I guess Link... Really didn't have much of a home to start with. He probably slept over here and sipped on his red potion. So I can taste the tequila, and the tequila and the dark rum kind of uh, fight with each other for your attention. I don't know which one I'm tasting. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Well, if it's dangerous to go alone, why don't you come with me? And bring this. Why don't we go together, old man? Oh, no. Too late for that. Well, let's get started. If he knew it was dangerous to go alone, why would he send a child with a sword? And he just got the heck out of there. It was that dangerous. The wildlife uh, is very uh, surprising in The Legend of Zelda. It's just ready to attack you, spitting nuts at you. Where these get they get these nuts, no one knows. Did they eat the nuts earlier? And they just are spitting them back out. They have some large pocket of nuts in their mouth. I don't know. Logic is not usually common in the Zelda series, although fans demand it. Fans demand a timeline that makes sense, and they were given one by Nintendo that makes no sense. Although sense has been tried to be made of it. I don't even know if that came out correctly. 
Aren't you glad that these fish don't exist in real life or whatever this thing is? Wouldn't it be terrible if every time you went to the beach you had some giant demon fish jumping out of the water and spitting lightning balls at you? Rainbow fireballs? It's terrible. Nice little stretch there. Friendly spot for a sip. I don't like these guys. That stupid fish. Get away. Give me something other than money. I wanted a heart to get that shooting sword back. It's not the master sword, as might be required in future games, but the starter wood sword that gives you that shooting ability. Alright, I hate this guy. I don't even need to fight him. Let's go into the dungeon. The nice part about this game is if you make it to a dungeon and you get in, then it doesn't matter where you die. You always go back to the beginning and any puzzle you've solved is still solved. We just felt that was a nice feature. So the drink gets easier to swallow. Uh, unlike that key that this skeleton swallowed here. That looks kind of painful. It's <laughs> bigger than he is, so I can't imagine that went down easy. But these skeletons usually give you hearts. I'm unlikely to see a red potion in-game this early on, but I can just look down at the table and I can see a red potion in real life. Although it doesn't exactly bring back health. It slowly takes it away. I've always had a problem walking through corridors and doors in this game. See, I just run into the walls. It's like if you can't line it up or you don't ride along the wall just perfectly, you have an instant fail. This game is much harder than the other Zelda games in the future. Except for that second one that should not be named. Although I own it. It is error. Alright. More skeletons. These guys give hearts. Come on. Or they give nothing. Nothing but despair. I'll take a moment in this empty room. To enjoy another sip. Seeing as this is an 8 ounce drink, it provides plenty of sippability throughout the first dungeon, first stage, whatever you'd like to call it, in The Legend of Zelda. And it keeps you hydrated and feeling at the top of your game. Feeling like you could easily take down skeletons and steal their keys and fight bats, although nothing is named as it appears in this game. Um, I wish I could remember the bat's name. I can't offhand. I'm sure I'll remember it as soon as I finish. But, as I mentioned earlier, you die, you come back, you've been revived. Now that I've been revived, let's continue with the drink. Oh, great, I get the time stopper as soon as they're all dead. This does a whole lot of nothing. Let's pause time, though. And take a moment to really try to describe this drink. I think it tastes kind of like a Jolly Rancher. Uh, it's got kind of a sugary and sweet but tart flavor to it. The rum adds a little bit of a uh, mouthfeel to it. So you get kind of a uh, dark rum layer as you're sipping it. But the tequila, the tequila just sits back there you can taste it, and it almost adds a little bit of, uh, I don't know if I'd call it bitterness, but I'd call it something like that. But it creates more of a complex flavor. 
I don't know what the red potion in the game would have seemed like, but I doubt it tastes very much like this. Or if Link was drinking this, he likely wouldn't be able to walk very far afterwards and fight Ganon to get Triforce, Triforce, Triforce. Huh. Old man again, giving me the secret. I'm nowhere near that, old man. Here, take this. Whoa! Forgot about that. Let's get out of there. I'll remember your easternmost peninsula when I get there. I haven't even seen a map. I'm assuming up is north. Right is east. That's usually the way of these games. Oh, speaking of maps! Perfect timing. And I lost my little power-up there. The full life power-up. Ah, I hate these guys. Usually try to just escape them. I don't know if I'm going to get any more hearts before the end of the game. Let's try not to get grabbed by grabby fingers here. These guys bring you all the way back to the beginning. That's not fun. All right, dragon. We've got dragon noises in the background. As good as a dragon noise could be back in the NES era. Oh, you got to stab him from the front. I forgot. I'm not going to do this. I don't know. Let's see. Ah! Only one more hit. I can make it back to him quickly, though, if I die. And see if I can do it with full power. I don't know. Oh, no! I didn't make it. But I still have plenty of my red potion left to go. So we'll continue and we'll go practically straight back to the boss. Now that I've got the map, I don't need anything but those stupid doors still. Can't just walk through them. Oh, I can never remember this part. Do I go left or do I go right? Yeah, I took the wrong one. That compass there just tells you the location of the boss, but after you've already been to the boss, you know he's there. Might as well kill these skeletons since I lost half a heart. If anything, I want to get back to the end with at least the same... This number of hearts. Two hearts now. No more heart loss. I don't have any red potions in game. I wish I could transfer this red potion into a digitized 8-bit version and hand it to Link to revive him. Get through the door! Alright, these numb nuts with the boomerangs that I don't have a boomerang yet. They're just teasing me. Oh, there's a boomerang in this game later on. Don't you know? All right, back to Dragon. This dragon keeps the Triforce hidden behind this door. He protects it like the three-headed dog in the Chamber of Secrets. Fluffy. Come on, I'm doing well. There we go, and I get the infamous half-clothed fairy and a heart which adds to my life and this red potion also adding to real life as the ice melts into it it actually gets better it kind of softens the flavor of the rum in the tequila well let's take a moment before i pick up this first triforce and review the experience the game is the Legend of Zelda. It is, in and of itself, a legend. What game could be called a legend and still be a legend in real life? This is a legend. I love this game. Anyway, game is great. The drink, I'm going to give the drink, let's go into a 10-point uh, scale here, with 10 being the most delicious and most rewarding experience with the game and a one being the most disgusting or disparate experience with the game possible. 
I'm gonna give this drink an eight. The reason it gets an eight is partially because of the game. The idea of drinking a red potion from The Legend of Zelda while playing The Legend of Zelda is what keeps me drinking this drink. And the flavor is good enough that I can continue drinking it. Would I recommend drinking this drink outside of The Legend of Zelda? No, but if you're into full immersion when you play Legend of Zelda, you want to be doing what Link does. You're, you've got a sword strapped to your back. You've got the shield. Uh, you have pointy ears because you're apparently cosplaying while you're playing Legend of Zelda. Uh, drink a red potion. It's pretty good. I don't know. It's not a bad drink. Pick up this Triforce. Da -da -da -da. Dun, 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 dun. So rewarding. What a great game.